Hey guys, it's Kevin and today I'm going to be reviewing the Richard Solo 1800 with the data cable. So as you can see, this is all it comes with, except the iPod of course. And it costs about $70. So you may be thinking that's pretty expensive, but if you break down the cost of each item itself and how they sell on the website, it's kind of cost efficient because this custom case they give you is worth $25 by itself, but they give it to you free when you, Richard, when you order the Richard Solo. This black cable is thirteen dollars apparently on the website, and the charger is thirteen dollars, and this thing is also thirteen dollars. So if you put that together, that's about sixty-five dollars for that and this. So yeah, it might be worth it if you just need a lot of accessories. So let's go over each accessory first. So this one is a cable. This has a female mini USB which connects to the top of the Richard Solo to charge your iPod. So this is a very sturdy cable. I imagine if Apple made a black cable, it would look like this. So that's pretty cool. This is a mini, I mean, mini USB and a USB cable. Retractable. Some people may like this, but I kind of don't like it because it makes it seem flimsy, but it's really portable. So that's what they were getting at probably. This is just a mini AC charger, I think, with the USB. This can probably charge all your USB stuff except the new iPod 2G and iPhone 3G and 3GS because Apple is really weird and they only allow certain products to work with the newer iPods but this should work for all previous iPods and USB accessories and this is a dual car charger which is pretty cool so if you ever need a USB in your car just pop this in you have two USB you can charge like your Richard Solo or your iPod and this is an iPhone 3G custom case but since I have iPod touch it's no use to me so I reviewed a product of theirs before, which was the Richard Soul 1200 with a flashlight. And the major problem was it with it was that when you plugged it in, your headphone jack was blocked. With this, they devised a method in which you just plug in the mini USB to iBot cable charger and it works. And you can still use your headphone jack. So it's nice that they listen to customers and make adjustments to your products as it seems. So there are several versions of the Richard Solo 1800 and all of them have a built-in flashlight and laser beam. There's a safety button on the back so you don't blind little kids for some reason. Okay so the laser works really well. Same with the flashlight but personally I don't really see the need for it. It might just be extra costs that you could like avoid and make this product cheaper and more available to more people. Because even though it comes with all this, $70 is still pretty steep. So <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty light. I imagine it would be heavier because it would be just basically a battery pack, but it's lighter than I thought. So it's easily care, like easily you can carry it easily. So the top, I don't think it came with a protector, or I may have lost it, but. I'm just afraid this might like snap off or something. So let's talk about performance. The Richard Solo 1800, as his name suggests, has 1800 milliampere hours. So <clears throat> what that means is that you can charge your iPod or iPhone one and a half times. And according to my trials, that's exactly how well it did. It charged once from empty to full, and then the second time I charged it, it went from halfway to full. So I'm pretty pleased with it. The previous Richard Solo 1200 only charged it like 75%, which was not that good, I thought. So yeah. <clears throat> there are also three LED lights. So one of them is when you plug in your iPod Touch with the Richard Solo 1800, it lights up blue. And see, your iPod is charging. When your Richard Solo is down to 10%, it will start flashing red, notifying that you need to charge your Richard Solo. When you plug in from the, oh yeah, on the bottom there's another mini USB view. When you plug this in to charge it, it will flash, <coughs> it will start flashing green. That means it is charging. When the green, like, when the green flashing stops and it's just solid green, that means it's completely full. So yeah, it's hard to find any cons with this other than the price. Overall, I think this is a very good product for those who travel. This is a must have and you can have this in many other versions. One of them comes with the iPod connector, I mean the iPhone where you just literally just snap it in on the bottom but as you can see it blocks that. So that's only for the iPhone model. They also have a Blackberry model which you can just like 
stab it with your Richard Solo or you can have another cable and it connects it. So yeah, thanks for watching this review and I hope I help review a product for you and see if you guys like it. So thanks for watching.